All right, y'all, we are live on this beautiful Thursday afternoon. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Blessings to everybody in the name of Jesus Yeshua, the Messiah. I do pray everybody is super blessed. On this Thursday, shout out to Gary Labanter. How's it going? Shout out to Jay Bull. In the chat, Crypto Pump It, Zorzi. Shout out to Voldemir Music. Smash the like button. Yeah, let's see what's going on here, guys. Shout out to Scotty Swing. He says, hey, Crypto Homies. What is going on, y'all? Shout out to Steven Orazio. Shout out to Sleer M. And shout out to Dog of Crypto Street. Where's the chicken boy? I'm right here, my man. Uh. Chicken boy. Right here. Shout out to Sushi. Shout out to Anon. Best stream on the internet. Well, make sure to smash up the like, guys. Let's see what we can do here. We are in some trades, y'all. Long on Bitcoin. Long on the SMP 500. And, uh... I'm in a little scalp as well on Bitcoin, to be honest with you. Also in a little scalp short right now. It's kind of funny because, to be honest with you, I've kind of, today I've I, I've really only taken shorts. I took a few shorts on uh, today. I took one, two, three shorts today. Not so bad, but um, hey, we're going to be talking about this price action, guys. We're going to be talking about what is going on with Bitcoin. Shout out to Spartan Trading, just hitting the top of the symmetrical triangle on the daily. Yeah, we are at an area of resistance, and in my opinion, we are still going to see higher Bitcoin prices just based on Market Cypher B. Shout out to J Boy Bullish, what is going on? Yeah, we're at a 27.2 area of resistance on the chart right now. So that's what we need to be aware of, guys. Now, we could dump from here a little bit. We could dump from here just a smidgen. All right. Which is why I am in the short scalp. Already locked in a profit. Stop loss to the entry. But let's see what happens. Shout, shout out to Sue Deep in the chat. Shout out to Drumhop. Long last night and woke up in profit. How did I long the S&P 500? I am longing the S&P 500 on Bing X, guys. On Bing X. This is a setup we gave in the Casper crew, baby. Long in the S&P 500. Looking to bounce from that Fibonacci golden pocket. And would you look at this, guys. We came down and got a bounce right from the Fibonacci golden pocket. So that's why I am long. I'm actually looking at this as a potential major swing trade, guys. I'm looking at this as a potential major swing trade right now. So we're going to have to see how that goes. So here we are on the Bitcoin chart, guys. And as you can see, we have come up to a, a pretty interesting area of resistance here. The daily level, the monthly level. And as we came up to this level, well, what do we see on Market Cypher B? We are actually seeing for the first time here in a bit. We are seeing bearish divergences. So let's go ahead and put on good old market cipher B. Right? We did see on the 12-minute time frame as we came up into this daily level, a pretty intense looking bearish divergence right here. Getting lower over time. And the six minute as well. Bearish divergence as we hit that level. Right. And also on the three-minute time frame, guys, as we came up and hit that level. We got multiple drive here of bearish divergence, making for a little scalperoni and queso here. Now, are we gonna are we gonna see higher prices? In my opinion, yes, we are. I have taken the short. Okay, full disclosure, guys. I have shorted the level. I've locked in a profit. My stop loss is at the entry. Okay, but here's the thing. I am still expecting higher. Why? Well, it really has to do with the money flow. As we look at the six minute money flow, it's continuing to get thicker here. As we look at the 12 minute time frame, money flow starting to come back up here. And especially guys, when we look at the one hour, no bearish divergences here. We have just money flow and momentum getting higher. When we look at the four hour, 
this to me is looking like we want to at least take the highs that we made last Wednesday. All right. Could I be wrong? Yes. I was expecting lower actually before this move to the upside. So I absolutely could be wrong. But uh, we got slight bearish divs here. And uh, looks like we want to come up a little bit higher. We're going to check out the order flow quickly and see what's happening here. Hmm. Actually, guys, we have a little bit of bullish CBD forming here. We have some bullish CBD forming right here. About a million shorts looking like they're getting absorbed. But uh, we had a pretty a whole bunch of shorts get wrecked on that last push to the upside. All right, so let, let's let's discuss like what has happened here. Man, ES pumping, dollar getting a move down today. I want to talk about my overall outlook here on these Bitcoin markets because honestly, ever since the S and P five hundred came down and and hit this support. I do think we might actually see a little bit more of a rally here for Bitcoin and for uh, the, the crypto markets in general. So let's just kind of like t recap, recap what's happened here. Now, now, first of all, guys, remember the grandmaster plan. OK, the grandmaster plan that I have for Bitcoin is still in full effect, right? We are short from the exact high set up given in advance in the Casper crew. We are long from 24,925, actually 24,939. And the overall plan I have here is basically that Bitcoin is breaking down from a rising wedge pattern, right? So we've got a rising wedge pattern that Bitcoin is kind of breaking down from. And our target right here is much lower, right? If we go ahead and take this trend line bam we can see that our target is coming back down below that 20k region right so because we've technically on some exchanges put in a much lower low here i would expect a retracement up into the fibonacci golden pocket zone where then i would look to uh get the move back down so i'm actually looking to compound short trade if we get that push up to thirty thousand dollars so this is the context of the market the grandmaster plan that we have right here and if we just take a look at what's happened for the past few days well when we came down to this key level all right this key level right here on monday september 11th right september 11th boom price fell down like building seven out of nowhere the news announced it before it happened bam all of a sudden right when we came down to this level what do we see market cipher b getting higher over time the money flow getting higher over time as price is coming down to none other than the key level of support that we had been waiting for with all the confirmations we had been waiting for well that is known guys as the extremely bullish sam bankman fried man boot pattern because when price is getting lower but sam bankman fried for some reason we don't know why People say he doesn't work out. That's a lie. He does work out. He goes to the gym. He does decline chest press only on the left arm only. All right. At least to a very voluptuous leftical breasticle. The right side, eh. He is just normal old skinny fat, right? When you see that at key support, that's a very bullish sign, right? So overall, when you, I mean, when I see this, I expect a major retracement, which is why. I've had my target set on 30K ever since we came over to this area, right? Now, what happened last week is price came up to this zone on Wednesday when we had the whole FOMC meeting and we got a rejection from the area in between the 618 and the 786, right? Now, we all know the 618 fib, my high school crush, 618ita. I had a huge crush on this chick in high school, all right? Six Juanita. I didn't realize this, guys. And if any of you young men are out there and you think a girl likes you, think again. You're probably in something called the friend zone, right? She would laugh at my jokes. She would let me do her homework. Uh, she would copy off my tests and all this. So I thought she liked me, right? Well, I asked her out on a date. Guess what? Oof, the rejection came in. And the heartache, that actually really made me rethink everything I was doing in my life, right? And we can see as we came up to that fib level right here, we got the rejection, right? And it actually turns out that 6 Juanita, she was into another guy, all right? 
she was into another guy because we could see as the price was getting higher right into six Juanita we see on Marcus Cypher B the dreaded bald-headed Gary Ginsler pattern right she was digging Gary Ginsler more than your boy Jay Casper right she liked the way his head was getting balder over time the way his hair was getting gray over time the way the smile was getting more and more photoshopped over time and that that actually this really did make me question a lot of things in my life right well we got the rejection we started to come down questioning you know am i ever going to find love but look at this right we came down right now and we found support on the high volume mode of the range right the high volume mode of the range now i do have to be honest with you guys these lows right here they do not look very good i was expecting price to take these lows okay i was expecting price to take these lows but Ever since finding support down here, we've actually started now to make market structure high, low, higher, high, higher, low. Now we're making even a higher high, breaking out of this fair value zone. In my opinion, as long as price can hold above 26,775, the value area high of the range, we could start to see a major pump to the upside here. Now, again, we have to approach this cautiously because these lows right here are poor lows. What does that mean? It means if we take a look at a TPO chart, right? When we came down and we made the series of higher lows, we don't see any buying tails here, all right? If you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. It just means we don't see aggressive buying at these lows. These lows weren't really being defended very much. We don't see big players stepping in to defend that level, right? Price just kind of loaded to the upside and when you see this happening it, it means pretty often that we will revisit these lows okay it means we will revisit these lows but uh as long as we don't enter back into this value area right here we could easily squeeze to the upside why because yes these are poor lows but this is a poor high this is a poor high and then this is a big volume gap right here right where we could easily get a squeeze up to our area where we're looking to take profits on the long trade, right? You can easily see how that could happen right now. Um, we are right now coming up to this resistance. If we break this resistance here, guys, I say we could get a really juicy short squeeze. All right, let's come back over to our order flow chart here. I wanna see how this is looking on a higher time frame. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So once again, we are coming up to an area of resistance right now. In fact, if we go to the monthly time frame, we can see exactly what's happening. We are coming up to none other than this level that we made when we opened the candle of June at 27,210. In addition to the 27,210 level from June, we are also coming up right now to this trend line that we've got on the chart connecting these two highs. So we can easily see a break above this could give us our target of that $30,000 level. All right. So let's see what happens, guys. We have not yet changed market structure, even on a local time frame here. Even locally, we have not changed market structure, meaning price has not taken this first low. If, if we lose this low, we could see us come down much lower here, okay? If we lose that low, we could come down quite a bit lower. But right now, things look still pretty strong to me. I don't see any kind of sign of weakness. First sign of weakness is changing market structure. All right, so let's see if we can't get another push to the upside right now. Let's see if we can't get another little push to the upside right now on some of these moves, okay? Stock market, S&P 500. Let's take a quick look at that. S&P 500, guys. This is the ES mini futures chart. I like what I see. I like what I see. I like what I see here and I'll tell you why. First of all, this long trade, setup given in advance, guys. We've been waiting for this level where we would fill a gap, come down to the golden pocket. As you can see, we have come down right to the golden pocket. We know Six Juanita, my high school crush, yes, 
We're in the friend zone. Yes, she rejected me. Yes, I will never have a girlfriend, okay, in my life. Yes, I'm an incel. But here's the thing, because I'm in the friend zone, and because, even though she rejected our romantic inquiry, she will be there to give us support, to give us a shoulder to cry on, to say, don't worry, Jason, someday you will find love, right? This is a very, very, very important area of support. I've been talking about this on the channel for a long time. Let's just look at this objectively right now, okay? We've been saying this is a giant head and shoulders pattern, right? Let's take a look here. Where's our head and shoulder tool? Does anyone know how to use TradingView? Because I don't, which reminds me, this is not financial advice. You're listening to a guy who doesn't even know how to use TradingView. So clearly, I'm an idiot, right? So here's the thing. We're watching this giant head and shoulders pattern form. And if you've been following the channel, you know that I have been saying for a while, this is going to wreck a lot of people. Because people are going to be shorting this when they see the breakdown and the candle close below. And they're going to be shorting right into massive support. What is the support? Well, first of all, we have this gap, right? We have this gap right here on the ES. We also had a gap on the index. In addition to that, if we go ahead and take the Fibonacci golden pocket retracement from this low to this high, we're coming right to the 618 Fibonacci. In addition to that, guys, we have this daily order block right here just below right around here we'll make it orange all right so we have massive area of support just below the head and shoulders we're saying this could wreck a lot of people who are trying to short the breakdown right so we've been looking for a long here that's why we gave the trade setup in the casper crew that's why i took the long from here now what is happening what is happening well you might say we're rejecting from local resistance you would be right but if we take a look at market cipher b at least on the mini futures chart not on the index we are seeing this right now as the price is getting lower into key support we are watching as the uneven butt cheek pattern is printing okay about to print all right let me take a little drink here of zevia i know i shouldn't be drinking it guys i know it's junk food all right mm. but i just can't get enough of that cream soda all right, we got the juicy left cheek. Mm, nice and big and round, full of the ravioli and the ricotta cheese is flowing out of it. All right, the raw cheese. And then the skinny old butt cheek on the right. You guys know, skinny, like that waitress at the diner. You know, she's uh, she's got the veins popping out of her neck and she talks like this with the Brooklyn accent from years of smoking too many cigarettes. She smokes like four packs a day, all right? Here's the thing, price is dumping. People are shorting right into key support but look at where the tip money is stored right in the right butt cheek and then bam we get a move to the upside that's what's happening now and if we go down to a lower time frame like the four hour right we have officially now put in a local higher high right the first sign of strength has officially reared its head on the es what do i mean by that well this whole way down we've been in a downtrend right We've been making high, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low. Bam, we get the bounce right from the six Juanita with Dolores at the diner, shaking her booty all up in our faces, okay? And then look at this. We make a high, a higher low, and now a higher high. The first sign of strength. And also, if we take a look at market cipher B, we have broken the downtrend, right? You can use the momentum waves on market cipher B to measure trends as well. We have broken out of this downtrend on market cipher B where this is our first sign of strength. And so to me, this is a little bit encouraging. If the S&P 500 is going to hold this zone of support, and here's the thing, I would say this zone of support could come down a little bit more here as well. I could come down a little bit more here as well, right? It's a zone, but if we hold this zone, I think we might see Bitcoin get a little bit more of a pump and maybe we won't come back to visit these lows just yet, right? Because Bitcoin and the stock market tend to move together, right? In addition, when we take a look, let's take a look at the dollar, okay? Let's take a look at the dollar right now. The dollar has been, all day, up until recently, getting a little bit of a movement to the downside. I know this is a low time frame, but... Let's see how this plays out. 
Okay, let's see how this plays out. I'm actually not super, super bearish on the dollar. <laughs> right? We got this big move. But uh, we are kind of due for a retracement here. Right? This is still highly speculative. But we are coming into this area of resistance here. If the dollar loses 105.950 and we come back down below this green box right here, right? I'd say there's a high chance that we get a little bit more of a retracement here. Maybe seeing the dollar come down, maybe maybe put in, obviously I, I would expect to put in a higher low, but if the dollar's putting in a higher low here, we can expect the Bitcoin to keep pumping. We can expect the S&P to keep pumping as well. So let's see what happens here. Let's go to our Bitcoin chart and see. Okay, so we are coming up guys to the level let's check on my short trade all right short scalp about to get stopped out at the entry y'all short scalp about to get stopped at the entry okay i took two shorts today three shorts today one two shorts on bitcoin scalping and now this is my third for the day about to get stopped at the entry i'm expecting higher prices guys let's see what happens here guys make sure to like the stream we got about 800 people in here about 200 likes let's see if we can't get the likes up to the watchers miles said heard i'm making a video with carl from the moon that is true me and carl from the moon have a movie coming out here's the preview Hello, um, I would like to get a, a Big Mac meal. So yeah, we, we've got the movie coming out, guys. Whoa, that's a little bit loud, huh? Whoa. Hang on. Some nice synthwave music going on here. Alrighty. Shout out to everyone liking the video. Shout out to Design Aspects. Says the movie will never come out. That's not true. The movie will come out. Okay. The movie will come out. The movie will come out. It will eventually come out, guys. All right. Is this trade going to get stopped out at the entry? Let's see. Shout out to everyone in the chat, guys. Thank you so much to everybody who liked the stream. You guys are amazing. May God bless you all. Shout out to Chirant. What do you do when markets are either only going up or only going down and Market Cypher is printing many divs? You look for scalps at key levels, okay? You look for scalps at key levels. So when I when I see divergences at levels, I look for scalps. Okay, looks like I'm about to get stopped out. Let's see what's happening right now. Bitcoin has not changed market structure. We're in the golden pocket. This is not a very bearish thing at all. Let's check out the order flow chart here. This is not looking very bearish at all, guys. We've got longs opening up here, but uh, we actually saw some bullish absorption down in this area so i would expect we actually break out of this right now let's see if we can't get another push to the upside baby come on bitcoin come on let's see if we can't get another little push to the upside this trade is about to get stopped out guys my short scalp is about to get stopped out baby at the entry after a 300 dollars profit i'll take it i'll take it i'll take it All right. Bitcoin's going to 27.9. Well, let's see if it does. Let's see if it does. The flag says another 3% move. All right, let's check out this flag that we got going on here. We've got a little flag. Are you talking about this flag here?
Yeah, look at that. Okay, so we're we're forming a bull flag. We're we're bouncing from the 382. All right, we've got this little thing going on here. Let's measure our move. Our move is coming right up to our next area of resistance, guys. 27.7 to 27.9. This is going to be our next target for the Bitcoin pump that's about to ensue. We've got two levels of resistance just above. Now, here's what we need to keep in mind, guys. We need to be watching Market Cipher. We need to be watching now for bearish divergences to start to form here. Okay? It is 2.11 in the afternoon. All right? Shout out to everybody in the chat. Shout out to Brock Landers for the super chat. He says, hey, Jay, can you have a look at Matic? It's got a bull div on the weekly and link. Bull div on the monthly. Absolutely, we can take a look at those. Absolutely, we could take a look at those. Thank you so much for the super chat. All right, we're coming into resistance. Short trade is hanging on for dear life, guys. All right. Short trade hanging on for dear life. All right, let's take a look at some other assets here, guys. We will take a look at Link first. Take a link, a look at Link USDT, and we will check out the monthly bullish divergence on Market Cipher. Wow. Okay, so we have a monthly bullish divergence on Market Cipher on Chainlink. All right, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Price is getting lower momentum waves getting higher this is a confirmed uneven butt cheek pattern clearly dolores is at the diner bringing us out a fresh cup of coffee price is about to rise up like the cigarette smoke we'll go to the weekly what do we see here sam bankman freed bullish pattern on the weekly as the price is getting lower just like our good friend sbf's breasticles we've got money flow and momentum getting higher over time on Chainlink. This is quite bullish, I have to say, because we've been trading in this range now for quite some time. All right, I've been trading in this range for quite some time. Now, here's the thing: we this is the first. This is the first bullish divergence in this entire range here on the weekly and the monthly. Man, this could get crazy. This could get crazy. We've got this channel. So, to me, this looks bullish. This looks super dang bullish. And unfortunately, guys, I, I have missed this bullish divergence here. I haven't been paying attention to Link at all. But we can see in hindsight, once we got this bullish divergence confirmation, we came up to the top of the range and we now have come back down for the retest from the area between the 786 and the 618. And now we're getting another move to the upside. This is good for anyone who's long on Link or holding Link on spot. But unfortunately, guys, I don't see a good entry here. Because if I were to long Link right now, well, I would need to put my stop loss all the way down uh, a 30% stop loss. <laughs> okay, so unfortunately, this is not a good place to get in on Link, in my opinion, unless you're gambling on a breakout, which I personally don't do. But I would say this, Link right now, if it breaks out of this, man, we could see a large move up here. Let's let's take a look at some volume. All right. We're above the point of control. We could very easily get a move up to $20. We could very easily get a move up to 20 at least. Let's see. Yeah, that's, that's the next major area of resistance. That $20 level is the value area high of this entire range on Binance. And it's our 382 Fibonacci. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Yeah, and it's the value area high of, of this more large range here. So I would say this. My targets for Chainlink would be first $12. 
if we break out of this first $12 and then we're looking to 20 to $23. So here's how I would actually look to play this. I would wait for a breakout. Bam. I would wait for a retest. And then I would look to get into a long from there. Okay. And also be looking on market cipher B. Let's check out the daily time frame. Let's check out the four day. You know, really for me, we've got this, got this thing. Uh, you know, you could say we've already broken out of this downtrend. This looks really bullish to me. I'll be honest with you. Chainlink looks super bullish to me just based on the chart alone. Um, yeah, if we do get some kind of a breakout, and then a retest. Okay, so here here would be my here would be a plan to long chain link right now. Here's here's how I would plan this. It requires patience, guys. We're on the four day time frame, but the first area of resistance that we're gonna hit upon this breakout is going to be right here at eleven dollars. Why? Because we have this daily order block right here. All right, so somewhere around this daily order block, around ten eleven dollars, we're gonna come. We're gonna find resistance here. Right, we're gonna reject from this order block. That's gonna be our first retracement. After we get that retracement, we are gonna pull a Fibonacci. We're gonna pull that Fib from the, the most recent low to a future high, right? Again, guys, this is speculative, but this is how we gotta stay one step ahead of the markets, right? This is how we long the S&P 500. We're speculative, we're staying one step ahead of the markets right now, right? That's what we're doing here. So we get the breakout. Then we reject from the daily order block at $10, $11. Then we pull the Fibonacci from the low we put in on Wednesday, September 6th to a future high that is yet to be put in. And would you look at this? Would you look at this? That Fibonacci golden pocket will line up perfectly with the trend line that we are breaking out of. Now that is called a support resistance flip, right? That is called a support resistance flip. And then what we can do is instead of longing Right now, having a 30% stop loss, we can long literally the same level, but this time we can do it knowing that instead of longing into resistance, we're longing support, and then we could put our target up toward our final 20 to $23 zone, giving us a beautiful around a 13 to one risk reward ratio. Much better, in my opinion, than this which is only a five to one risk reward ratio, right? So literally we're able to put three times, I mean, depending where we put our stop loss, this could even be a 20. We could four X our gains on this trade just by waiting for a better setup, right? Because if we need a 30% stop, that's a five to one risk reward ratio. If we have a 20 to one risk reward ratio, that means we could put four times more on the trade while, while risking the same amount, we could put way more money on the trade while still risking the same amount. Target's the same, entry's literally the same. The only difference is instead of FOMOing in right now as we're coming up to resistance, we wait for a confirmed breakdown, we wait for a confirmed retest with bullish divergences, and then we can long support instead of longing resistance. There's a much higher probability trade setup right here, guys. Much higher probability trade setup in my opinion. Shout out to Slacky. What about the four hour on link though? I don't know, I haven't looked. Let's check it out. Looks, uh, looks, looks bullish. We've got some bear divs, money flow still getting thicker. I think we could get more of a move here. Guys, the higher time frames are always the main drivers of price. And when you got this on the monthly, we might not even be gifted this opportunity, right? In my opinion, this is a nice opportunity. All right, we are pumping, baby. All right, this this poor this poor trade, guys. This poor short trade is still struggling. This poor short is still struggling here. Shout out to Carl. What up, Jason, new subscriber? Have an open long on ETH, wondering if you could help with a good target to take profit. Well, my friend, 
you know, everybody's trading plan is different. The only thing I can say is, if you're in profit, I recommend take some profit. Move your stop loss to your entry. That's what I recommend. Any update on this? Look, there's no updates, guys. It's on the blockchain. It's gone. There's, there's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. All right. Shout out to AZTV. Shout out to Jeanette. It says there's a blood diamond on the monthly for for ETH. Interesting. 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 Okay. Raider Stavern. I like the way DGen Dynasty uses Market Cipher. Never heard of DGen Dynasty. I'll have to check it out. Are we still due for the 25.5 level? You know, Logan, when it comes to Bitcoin, I don't know. I don't know. It really depends on what happens here. This is looking bullish to me. This 12-minute money flow looks bullish. Let's see if we can't hit another target here. We're going to hit 27.7. Right, is that our next target? Yeah, 27.7. Let's see if we can't hit another target right up here. This is our bullish target. Let's go, Bitcoin. Come on. Can we hit the bullish target? I think we can. Yeah, so with Bitcoin, the 25.5 level, the fact that the stock market is getting a nice bounce, uh, yes, of course we can still hit that 25.5 level. Of course we still can. Let me get to a fresh chart here. Of course we still can. It, but here's the thing. If, if the stock market is going to be pumping, it becomes a little bit less likely. I would love that level because I've been holding off on a long until we at least take Monday's low. All right. And I closed out my long for Monday as well. I was long from right here. If you guys watch Monday's live stream, I closed it out when we got this dump. I just said, let me take the profit. Should have kept it open. But I've been waiting to lose this low to add to my longs. Um, look, as I said at the beginning of the stream right now, this 26.775 level is going to be key because it's a massive support resistance flip. Bitcoin above 26.775 is bullish. It's bullish, right? Because it's showing that what used to be resistance, like literally resistance once, twice, then we ignored it here three, four times, and then six, seven times. If we hold this level, now it's support, man. That would be really bullish. If we lose the level again, I would say I am absolutely looking down to 25.5. Because again, these lows right here are not good, right? They, these were not strong lows according to the TPO chart. It's a poor low, all of these. So we could easily just rip down, bam. And if we do, I'm keeping my eyes peeled on this zone right here. But we have to take it one step at a time, right? We have to take it one step at a time. That's the only way. Take it one step at a time. Stay one step ahead of the markets. All right, guys. We're starting to get a little bit of a retracement. All right. We're starting to get a little bit more of a dump here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, man, I almost got stopped out of this thing. Dang, I hope we're not about to dump right now. Are we about to dump right now? Come on, Bitcoin. Stay strong for us. Stay strong. Stay strong, Bitcoin. Oh, my goodness. All right, guys, you know what? This price action is making me have to take a pee, all right? So I'll be right back. Watch the chart for me. I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Don't go away. Like the video.
Oof. Man, people want to talk about a relief rally. I'll tell you. Feeling like a new man up in here. Oof. Man, okay. Yeah, nothing like a good Wii. Shout out to J-Boy Bullish. Natine says, wash your hands. Of course I've washed my hands. What do you think? I'm a heathen? Nah. Come on. Come on. All right. Are we dumping or are we pumping? Man, we're dumping, huh? I hope we don't dump, guys. This is only supposed to be a scalp. This isn't supposed to be a swing trade up in here. Come on, baby. Dump it for my short. Yeah, let's see. I mean, I'm also in a short. So we have to change market structure, right? We have to take out this low right here. If we if we come below 27.035, that's the first major sign of weakness. Coming down below 27.035 is the first sign of weakness here. All right, let's check out the order flow. See what's going on. Uh, I mean, I don't see anything. Uh-oh. No, I, I actually I don't see anything too crazy. I, a lot of longs kind of took profits here. I don't see anything too bearish here. I really don't. We have a big decrease of OI here, which, which honestly does show a little bit of a, a little bit of a weak move here. Okay, the fact that this this rise saw a lot of longs taking profit and a lot of shorts getting wrecked. Um, it's not the strongest move to the upside right now, guys. This last move to the upside was not the strongest move. That's why we're finding some resistance at this level. Because there's no real money coming into the market right now to push price up. A lot of longs have closed out their trades. And a lot of shorts have gotten wrecked. And so longs and shorts right now are out of the market. There's not a lot of volume coming in here. Alright, so we've got a bull flag forming potentially here. Okay, and our bullish target is going to be 27.7 to 27.9. Let's check out our bearish target here, guys. Um... Let's check out a bearish target. So the way I will determine this bearish target is just by looking at this as a pennant. Let's see. Okay. All right. Okay. So look, look at this, guys. Our bullish target is our next major area of resistance. Our bearish target is to come back and retest 26.8, which was our high on Wednesday. So whichever way you want to slice this Bitcoin, we have technical targets above and below. All right. This is a, a bearish target, 26,844. We got a bullish target up here. Once again, until we lose 27K, I don't really think there's any reason to get overly bearish. But we are right now forming this little, this little pennant thing. Oh, man. What started out as a scalp could turn into a life-changing swing trade, baby. Can you imagine that? Could you imagine? All right. We are going to take a look here at Coinalize just to take some of the noise out here. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't see anything super bearish here. The only thing I see is we don't we don't have the buyers. We don't have the money stepping into the market right now because this last big push up happened with a big decrease of open interest here. I don't think we're going to get a push up during this live stream, guys. I think we're probably going to range here before something happens cuz People are just kind of sitting out right now. They're just kind of sitting out right now, y'all. We gonna dump to 25.4? If we do, you know I'm looking for a long, baby. You know I'm looking for a long if we get that dump. Rome is speaking soon. He's speaking today? Dang. Bitcoin loves this fake bull pennant dump. That would be crazy, man. That would be crazy. Well, it's a good thing. 
It's a good thing we're in multiple shorts, guys. Dang. Alright, we're gonna have to switch. If everyone in the chat is getting bearish, if people are watching the stream because they think Bitcoin's gonna dump, then let me show the short trades. That's how your boy gets views. He just shows whatever trade is currently happening on the market. You know? Let's see what happens here. Dang. Alright, so if this is going to dump, we can actually add to a short trade. We can add to or look for a new short trade because again, if we lose 27.036 and make a lower low locally, then we can look for that lower high probably at the Fibonacci Golden Pocket retest. We're watching carefully. Hang on. <laughs> All right, let's get back to coin lies now. Let's see what's happening here. We're going to go down to our one minute. All right, we, we actually have some shorts. A few shorts starting to open up here. All right, they're looking to push this price down yonder. Once we lose that blue line, guys, that opens up the gates. That opens up the gates to more downside, all right? Let's get back to trading view. That's where I like to do my analysis. So what are we gonna be looking for here, okay? Let's go to our three minute time frame. Okay, we do see some bearish trigger waves coming in. What we're looking at here, guys, is this. If we lose this low, right, we will then pull our FIB from the high to wherever we put in this low, all right? So we're gonna be looking for something like this. And then we look for, to short a retest, right? This is what we would look for, a change in market structure. The first sign of weakness is putting in a lower low. And then we take our FIB and we would look for this, something like this. Right, we would look for something like this. And we would want to see continued bearish market cipher B. We would want to even maybe potentially see some bearish absorption happening on the order flow. I don't know if we'll get it on such low volume. SMP also taking a dump, guys. ES also taking a dump. And I have not realized any profit on this long. So I'm holding out here, guys. I'm holding out for the bulls. Come on, baby. Come on, Bitcoin. Come on. Uh-oh. All right, let's see, baby. Come on. Here we go. Going straight to Dump City, baby. Going straight to Dump City. Oh my goodness, we're about to lose the low. Oh no. Oh no. We, we just lost it, guys. We're losing it right now. We're holding it. Let's see what happens here. Uh-oh, we're losing it. Are we losing it? Yeah, we're losing it. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh my goodness. We're losing the low guys. We're flipping into locally bearish market structure right now. As we speak, what turned out to be a scalp trade is probably going to be the biggest swing short trade of my life. All right. 
Get ready for the dump, baby. Okay, now. Once again, remember. What are we looking at here? We are looking, now that we've lost this low, right? To add to and or open a short, we wait. Patience is key in these markets. We might not get the opportunity, right? We might not get the opportunity, but we wait for price to come and start to get a little bounce. Once it gets a little bounce, we pull that golden pocket wherever it's gonna be. That's where we look for the trade. We use volume as well, okay? Let's see, we put in a lower low right now. Technically, we could say that the lower low is in. I would like to see a little bit more of a low, but uh, if this does happen to hold, we could still look to add to or enter a new short if we get a move back up toward this area could give us a better entry. We could look to do something like this with our stop above this high, right? So we're watching, we're waiting. We're watching, we're waiting. We're looking at our trades, we're bleeding. Our longs are bleeding, but our shorts are pumping, guys. Our shorts are pumping right now. So, shout out to everybody in the chat. You guys are amazing. Shout out to Hutmo. While we wait, hydrate. You're right. Let me grab a drink. This Zevia cream soda right here. I know. I know it's bad. It probably has fluoride. Probably has a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Natural flavors. Who knows what's in that? You know? But, weakness of the flesh, guys. Mmm. Mmm. Man, that's some good stuff. All right? All right, Bitcoin's going down to the CME gap, says Pineapple Love. Guys, make sure to like the stream. We've got 1,000 people in here. We only got 400 likes. Let's get 1,000 likes in here. Short from 27,164. That's awesome. 26,800 coming. All right, let's see. Let's see, 26,800. Yeah, 26,800, that's actually a good target, in my opinion. I'm gonna set a TP at 26,800. Guys, make sure to FOMO into the like. We got a thousand people in here, 400 likes. Let's see if we can't get some more likes up in here. Shout out to VA Futures, shout out to MM Flipto, shout out to Cadillac Records, says we're going to Cerro. Twenty six point six to twenty six point five. Well, you know me. My target is actually gonna be twenty five five, baby. Twenty five two. Let's see. You know, I have to be honest with you guys. I, I this week there's been a few instances where I've literally been spot on with my Bitcoin. Oh, shout out to Carl from the Moon driving me to McDonald's in his Maserati. Wow. Movie coming out real soon. Guys, I have to say, this week, I have been really nice in the fact that I was able to long this and short this. Here's where I got off. You traders know, sometimes you're in the groove where you just catch every move and then you get off, right? So I got off right here, right? When we came back down, I was looking for a little bit lower. I, I, I didn't think we were going to get this big pump, right? That's where I got off. So because I'm off right now, I don't really know what's going to happen here. Let me mute Discord. Hang on. Let me mute Discord. Shout out to River. 
Nines gave a swing short. Interesting. Interesting. Shout out to Jay Bull in the chat. Shout out to Crypt Creed. Shout out to Shoulda Coulda. Sometimes you're in a groove when you catch every move, and sometimes you're a poet and you don't even know it. That's so true. All right, guys, as we are dumping down, waiting for the Bitcoin price to hit new all time lows, uh, man, this is wild. This is wild, man. But here's the thing. SPX right now holding up, actually. You know, S&P 500 holding up right now. So let's see what happens. I'm, I, I still have conviction that a nice low is put in here. And if, if this isn't the low, I would expect a CDW at least. Shout out to Crypto Tab. How is moment on Market Cipher set? I don't know. It, it's, I've already gone over all my thoughts. Is that Mex C? Yes, Mex C. You can have you can have a long and a short for any pair you trade on Mex C. I'm a big fan of Mex C. What's my take on Solana at the moment? Um. Okay. So guys, we're starting to get a little bit of a bounce on Bitcoin here. So let's quickly do some analysis here. All right. We're starting to get a little bit of a bounce after taking the low. So areas that we need to be aware of right now, if we start to come up, are going to be this right here, Fibonacci Golden Pocket, 27.180, right? In fact, let's go to the daily time frame and let's mark out that daily level. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, we might have an opportunity on our hands, guys. We might have an opportunity on our hands right here if... We don't come lower, which we might, but right now, if we start to get a retracement up here, we might have another chance to short 21, I'm sorry, 27.2. Let's see. Come on, Bitcoin. Come on. Are we going to pump? Are we going to dump? No, we're going to pump. Are we going to pump? No, we're going to dump. Nah, we're dumping. Dang. Dang. All right, here we go. Do I have a code for Mexi? Yes, I do in the description and the pinned comment of all my videos. Guys, Mexi is by far the best exchange to trade with fees. You can mark it in and you won't get wrecked. It's pretty dang awesome. All right. Is ES dumping? Dang. All right, here we go, baby. Let's see if we hit our take profit. 26,842, baby. 26,842. It's over for the Bitcoin price. All right, let's check out order flow right quick. Look, so Market Cipher at, at this high, here, here's the overall context. I don't think we're gonna, we might get a retracement here, but I would say this. We had some bearish divergence right here, okay? Then we came in, we made a lower high with a trigger wave. Money flow starting to come out, but we don't. I don't see a, a top signal here. I don't see any bearish CVD divergences here. This whole thing is happening on a decrease of open interest. This is just weak movement in general, right? Let's see what happens when we come to VWAP. VWAP 26.740. We've got right now. We've got we've got longs being liquidated along this way down, and we've got shorts opening. So longs are getting wrecked. Shorts are opening. It's leading to even less open interest. Longs are closing out at a faster rate than shorts are opening. We might see a big, uh, we might see a quick dump here. How's the ES? Check out the ES. Yeah, ES is also locally changed market structure here. ES, 
Got a slight bear div- it, it's, it's pretty much in the same boat as Bitcoin, guys. It's pretty much in the same boat as Bitcoin. Dang, man. Alright, come on, come on, come on. I'm holding out on this ES long. I'm- I'm- I'm-, I'm, 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 I'm Hoping it could be a nice swing. Alright. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Guys, let's get the likes up to the watchers. We got 1,100 people in here. We only have about 500 likes. Oh my goodness, as Bitcoin continues to dump down. We're about to hit a take profit here, guys. Come on, baby. Man, I thought this was gonna I thought this trade was gonna get stopped out at the entry, but nah, we might hit a nice take profit, baby. Come on, baby. <laughs> Wick to the 9.8 CME gap, huh? All right, so if we take a look here, if we take a look here, we are seeing longs getting wrecked and we're seeing some shorts opening, okay? So we need to keep our eyes on VWAP because if we see a lot of short shorting VWAP, we know a lot of people are gonna be looking to long the VWAP here. We've been above VWAP now since, basically since New York opened here. All right. Oh, dang. All right. All right. All right. Just hit that TP, baby. What started out as a scalp. It's now $500, 500 tether. And guys, today, shorting during, uh, shorting during this pump, five, six, made over $900 shorting during the pump, man. I cannot trade with the trend. I literally cannot trade with the trend, guys. I can only counter, tr counter trend trade. That's literally... The only thing I can do, and I wish I could, I wish I could trade with the trend. I didn't long today. I could have made so much more longing, but your boy has to counter trade. I, I just, I have to. I can't long during a pump. I can only short, and I can't short during a dump. I have to long. Got to wait for those. All right, so now we're getting a retrace. All right, let's come back to the charts. Now we're starting to get a move. So we pull our Fibonacci golden pocket here. We came down to our target. This area of, okay, here we go, baby. Now we watch. Are we gonna be able to compound the short? This is the time. We watch, okay? We're gonna be looking now for a lower high to come in into this area right here. I'd say 27,193. 27,193 could be a pretty nice, a pretty nice area to now look to short because we've changed market structure. And that, that level right now, if I'm not mistaken, is the 7865 to the dollar, guys. 27,190 is right now the 7865 to the dollar, all right? We know that the 6 Juanita Fibonacci rejected us because we were in the friend zone. The 786 Fibonacci rejects us because she's not even into dudes, all right? This is a picture of her right here. Let's see what happens as we get our first retracement. We are looking right now to potentially compound a short in this green box. I'll be honest with you guys though, I'm not gonna compound it. <laughs> I'm just gonna let this thing ride because <laughs> that's the way I trade. All right, but we have to be aware of it. We have to be aware of it. Let's see. Dang.
All right, so this is the box that we need to be keeping our eyes on, guys. This is the box that we need to be keeping our eyes on right now. Please look at Super Chat. All right, sorry. Super Basketballs. Which CBD do you use? Coinalize, Spot, or Stable? Okay. So on Coinalize.net, here's what I'm using. Oh, only. The only thing I use is the Bybit USD Perpetual Pair. That's the only thing I use. That's the only thing I care is the Bybit USD Perpetual Pair. The only thing I use, the only thing I care is the Bybit USD Perpetual Pair. Uh. All right. That's what I use. Bybit USD Perpetual Pair. Even though I'm trading on Mexi, even though I'm trading on ZoomX. All right. All right, let's check out the TPO chart, guys. Oh, snap, baby. We got ourselves some single prints still below. So 26... 663 26663 This is going to be a single print right here. All right, so our next target to the downside 26666 6. That's our next target to the upside. Our target to the upside is this green box right up here. All right, this is our bullish target which we can look for a rejection. This down here is our bearish target where we could look for a little bit of a bounce. Okay. Let's clean up the chart. We'll get it nice and clean. Two lines, if you know what I mean. Yeah, that's nice. 2666 is nice. Because also, guys, look at this. All right, take a look at 2666. We have a nice little support resistance flip here. We actually wicked up to it a little bit. Am I mistaken? Let, let's let's check something. Let's check something out on the chart, guys. Hang on. Yeah. Nah. Oh yeah. Okay, so 26666 was an important level. It was a 786 level in the past. It's nothing too crazy. There, I, there's no epiphanies here, guys. All right, it is what it is. All right, it is what it is. There's no epiphanies here. Shout out to all 1,100 people. Make sure to smash up the likes, guys. If you don't like it because of the content, at least like it because of the sweaty guy on the treadmill flexing his biceps and pecs and traps. You know what I'm saying? Is it time to long? Look, man. It might be for you, not for me. Not for me. But I will say this. I would look to short. This zone right here, honestly. If I had to pick a trade, I would say this would be it. Now, I'm personally not going to take that trade, guys. That's not my style. If I have an entry like this one here, I'm not going to ruin that entry. I'm just going to let this thing ride. I'm just going to let this thing ride, all right? FOMO to the like button. Am I still leaning toward 24K? Yeah, so look. I. Here we go, baby. We're getting that retracement. We know where we're looking. We know where we're looking. All right, we're looking to our green box. We're looking to the green box, right? So yeah, my overall plan on Bitcoin, guys, is still the exact same. Okay, it's it, like right now, this is short-term volatility, guys. This is this is small potatoes. Okay, let's zoom out to the daily. Let's remove everything. Okay, these are my swing trades. My swing trading plan has not changed, guys. I am looking still for this. Still looking for this, guys. 
That's why I'm still short, that's why I'm still long, right? It takes a long time for these things to play out, right? This plan has been ongoing since July 13th, all right? So we're, we're pushing right now. It's literally been 77 days, guys, that, that this plan is, is so slow to play out. Like, people don't understand. When I, when I make an analysis video on a high time frame and I say I'm bearish, and then the next day I make a short-term analysis and say I'm bullish, my short-term bias can switch every single day, but the long-term is still the same. It's the daily time frame right here, guys, on Bitcoin, right? This is still what I'm looking to do. So I am still looking, eventually, if we get that rise up to 30K, which I'm hoping, I am looking to take this down to another lower low, okay? The only thing that will get me out of this view is if we come up here and we are not seeing the bearish Sam Bankman fried man boot pattern, right? It's, we, we can't know for certain if price is going to pump or dump, but we can, we can wait and see what are things looking like. So what I want to see, if the price gets up here, is I want to see market cipher B on the four hour getting lower over time as the price is getting higher over time, right? Like this. The bearish Sam Bankman fried man boot pattern. The dreaded bald-headed Gary Ginsler market cipher B pattern. Right? We got to wait and see. The only reason I took a long from 24, 9, 25, the setup given in advance in the cast for crew, is because I wanted to see bullish divergences at that level. I want to see the uneven butt cheek pattern at that level. And when we came down to that level, guys, we saw it. We saw it. We saw it. Same with the S&P 500. I wanted to long the ES if we saw bull dip on the daily, the four hour, the one hour. Well, we come down to the daily and what do we see? We see bullish divergence, bam. We come to the four hour, what do we see? Bullish divergences, bam. Right, so it's like, even though that's my overall bias and I'm still looking for those prices, I can't know. If we had come down to this level and I didn't see the uneven butt cheek pattern, I, I wouldn't have taken, I wouldn't have taken, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have taken this trade. You know what I'm saying? So it's a, it's a wait and see. It's a wait and see. You know what I'm saying? This price action would be spicier than a whole bunch of jalapeno peppers. All right. Retrace, baby. Let's see if we make it up into our box. Right, this is what we're looking at right now. This is the potential we're looking for right now. Who do I love more, Do Kwan or Sam Bankman? Uh, definitely Sam Bankman. Definitely Sam Bankman. All right, guys, the Fed is about to speak in two minutes. I didn't know this. I did not know this. All right. It, can we watch it? Can we watch the Fed speak right now? Let's see. I don't know. I don't know. Let's let's go to forexfactory.com. All right, forexfactory.com. It's the 28th and uh, 4 p.m. Federal Ch Pair of Chowell speaks. Okay. He's going to speak, guys. We're going to get some validity, volatility. Oh man. Okay, he's about to speak, guys, in an hour. 
in an hour, okay? So we still have an hour. He's going to speak when New York closes. That's interesting. He's going to speak when New York closes. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Let's see if we can't get the likes up to the watchers. We're talking about those watchers that came down in Genesis 6 in the Book of Enoch in the days of Jared. We got 1,100 watchers up in here. Shout out to Aaron G. What is good, Casper Crew? What is going on? All right. Pear Chowell is about to speak. Pear Chowell. Guys, I'm sorry. I've had too much to drink here. Pear Chowell is about to speak, baby. Shout out to Splashfire Films in the house. Okay. Hot air coming from the Fed. Shout out to Clint. Clint Downing, what is going on, bro? God bless you, my friend. All right, so it looks like Bitcoin's floating up a little bit, guys. Looks like we might... We might come up to our box. This is our plan right now. All right, let's see what happens here. Let's quickly take a look at the order flow and see if there's anything that we can write home about. Remember, we've got our single prints down here at 26666. These single prints down here at 26666. And then below that, we have the daily point of control at 26400. Below that, we've got the naked daily point of control at 26250. 26250, honestly, if we dump down that far right now, I might FOMO into a long, baby. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. We'll have to kind of wait and see how Market Cypher B. We're going to have to wait and see how it's looking on good old Market Cypher B. What is cooking? Sorry, guys. I know. I know. I'm too white. But I can't help it. All right? It's in my jeans. My nerdy white boy jeans. Actually, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm not even wearing my jeans. I'm only in 100% organic cotton boxers. Right now, I take these jeans off on the treadmill. Talk about chafing. Talk about chafing. Shout out to Gabucci. Are you still long-term bullish on bros? Thank you so much for the super chat. Shout out to Frankie Candles, my man. We're going to be doing a collab. I'm going to have Frankie on my channel next week. All right. Let's take a look at bros, guys. Let's take a look at Rose. Um, so this does look kind of, uh, it looks bullish to me, okay? I'll tell you why it looks bullish. We have a falling wedge, which is a bullish pattern. Right? Or you could say it's a channel. All right, let, let's let's call it a channel. All right, let's just be safer here. Let's call it a parallel channel. Let's call it a channel. All right. I don't even know if I can call this thing a channel. All right, we're not going to call it a channel, guys. We're going to call it a wedge. All right, we're going to call it a wedge. We had a fake out. And when we got the fake out, we got the uneven butt cheek pattern, right? Mark Cypher be getting higher over time, just like our good friend Dolores at the diner. Butt cheeks getting higher over time. And then, look at this. Well, we actually now got a hidden bullish divergence. Price making a higher low. Momentum making a lower low. So we got a, uh, we got a regular div followed by a hidden div, which is a continuation pattern. We have not yet changed market structure here. And so, because we haven't really changed market structure, I don't really see an entry. All I can say is, this is a bullish pattern, in general. More probable to break up than down. And, um... You know, I wouldn't enter into a leverage trade on Rose, but... Assuming that we break out of this... Right? Right? 
We're looking to retest 18 cents. Assuming that the low is in. Look at this stop. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Sheesh. You look at that stop loss. That's the silliest stop loss I've ever seen in my life. Assuming our low is in. You know, a spot play. And keep in mind, this is the weekly time frame, right? So... The, the Bitcoin halving is going to be happening right around here. Okay, so assuming this is a spot play and we're going to take advantage of the bull market that's going to happen around this time, right? Which will lead to an alt season. I'd say this is not a bad time to accumulate, right? Because we're not here, right? We're not up here. We're right here. So this right now, assuming assuming this thing hits a new high, or let's just say it comes back up to the previous area of resistance here, that's an 18 to one risk reward. Meaning you put a thousand bucks on this now, you got $18,000 potential, potentially more, right? That's a conservative. Liberal, I mean, liberals, they just love free money. And so a liberal estimate here, you put a hundred, you put a thousand bucks in here, you end up with a hundred thousand dollars. If this thing goes to a dollar, a thousand bucks could turn into a hundred K or I'm sorry, 80 K, 85 K turn a thousand dollars into 85 K just by putting a thousand bucks into rows right now, put a hundred bucks into rows. You still make 2,353% on it, you know? So, 100 bucks could turn into 85, 100 bucks. But I don't have an entry on here. I would not touch this thing on leverage. I would not touch this thing on leverage, guys. Shout out to Peabody Poo. For the super chat, thank you so much. What is Rose Coin? I don't know. I think it's a privacy coin. I don't really know what it is. I don't know. I don't care. Shout out to Mark Harris. Blessings in the name of Yeshua. Right back at you. Blessings to all of you in the name of Yeshua. Did I buy a hardware wallet now? Nah. Never gonna buy one. Just kidding. I've always had a hardware wallet, guys. You know, that's the thing. I've always had a hardware wallet. People like watch my video, they're like, what an idiot, never had a hardware wallet. Nah, it's not that I didn't have a hardware wallet, guys. It's that I got lazy putting my stuff into a hardware wallet. You know? I got lazy putting my stuff into a hardware wallet. You just start stacking money, and, and then all of a sudden you got a lot of it in a, in a stack, and you, you're just not thinking clearly, man. So look, it is what it is. Is Bitcoin sinking again? I don't know. It looks like it's getting a little pump here. Can we check Link? Edward, we already checked Link, and I gave a setup for it. Go back in the stream. I, I actually gave a trade setup for Link. It's a pretty good setup as well. It's a pretty good setup as well. Did I bless your shoe? No, I, I said Yeshua. Yeshua is Aramaic for Jesus. Can we check Matic? Yeah, let's check M Matik. I used to, I used to, I, I've traded Matik in the past, so let's check her out. Let's check out good old Matic here. All right, so Matic has a weekly div. I don't like this one as much as I like Rose. I'll be honest with you, I don't. It, 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 it's definitely 
showing that we're looking to bottom out. All right, let's... I don't like this chart, I'll be honest. Wow, okay, okay, okay. This is changing my mind. This is changing my mind, all right? Ah. All right, so I would say this. Uh, we definitely have a div on the weekly. We have we have div on the daily. Money flow starting to curve up on the daily. I would say for Matic right now, because we've already had drives of div on the daily here, I would want to see one more drive with money flow also diverging. And we have a really nice zone right down here, okay? between 0.45 and 0.49. It's a monthly level of support. It's the 886 FIB. And um, that would be the last place I would look for a high or low here, honestly. What, is this a trade I would take? Probably not, to be honest with you. But if I had to force, what the heck is up with the stop loss? If I had to force a trade, like if someone put a gun to my head and said, you have to look for a trade on Matic, this would be it, guys. This would be it. I would look to long that monthly level around 45 to 49 cents. And my final target would be the value area high at around $1.50, honestly. Assuming, assuming that... Uh, that this is a nice bottom here and it's tough to say i don't see anything here that makes me say yes we have a very nice looking bottom you know so if this is more of a speculative move um what what does scare me is that matic pumped so high so fast i don't know anything about it people maybe someone knows you you blockchain people no, it's like a layer 1.35 Solana blockchain. All this type multi web 3 thing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is, right? I'm just looking at a chart, Matic. Okay. <laughs> we have a lot more potential downside here going back to January 2021. I mean, we could see this thing dump another 50 to 100%, right? I don't know anything about Matic. If we're going to put in a higher low, this is the area to be looking. All right. I wouldn't buy it on spot here necessarily because I can't get financial advice. Personally, I do hold a lot of Matic. I do hold a lot of Matic. I've bought a lot of Matic on spot. I hold it just because it's the thing to do. It's part of my crypto portfolio. But look, guys, I hold it just because it's the thing to do. I don't know anything about it. So I can't give advice whether or not to buy here. If my Matic portfolio goes to zero, I don't care, right? But uh, this right here, if someone said you have to come up with a trade setup for Matic, this would be it. It's a really nice uh, potential risk reward too, because if we're gonna bounce from the 886, it gives a 30 to one risk reward if we're gonna come back up to value area high. So who knows? I'm not as convicted about this as I am on Chainlink. 
Chain link, I would say that's a really nice setup. Rose, I would say... Uh, it looks super bullish, and I'd say it's a good spot buy. Matic, I would say, I don't really know. I'd say this is the best thing I can see, but... You know. You know? Shout out to Aaron G. Shout out to everyone in the stream, guys. Let's see if we can't get the likes up to a thousand. That would be wild. Let's check on how's our Bitcoin trade doing. All right, guys. Look, so far, so good with our plan here. Our plan is working out. Would you look at that, guys? Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Yeah, Matik. Shout out to Matik. Shout out to Crypto Incognito. Holding it down with the wrench. Shout out to uh, Prize. You seen me? Oh, shout, shout out to uh, Aditya in Andy's live streams. Shout out to Andy. We're, I'm going to be collabing with Andy as well. I'm, I'm collabing with a whole bunch of people. Frankie Candles. Andy. Carl. There's a rumor I'll be collabing with Daniel from Chart Champions. Hope that rumor comes true. Shout out to Side of Clouds. Will you ever do any kind of content besides trading, fitness? I don't know, Side of Clouds. Like, I don't know. I don't know if a, another YouTube channel would fit my lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? If I'm going to be sitting here trading, I might as well do YouTube for trading. But it's really hard to, to record if you're working out. You know, it's hard to do that. All right, here we go, baby. Let's take a look at the order flow. Let's see what we got. It's not looking too bearish. Let's go to our one minute here. Let's take a look at coin lies. We'll draw our box. Now remember, there's very low volume here. So any absorption we see is probably gonna have to happen locally within this box here. Let's watch and wait. Let's watch and wait and see what we see. Let's watch and wait and see what we see. Shout out to J Boy Bullish, Christ is King, Amen, Messiah, Jesus is the King. All right, guys, Bitcoin's pumping. So again, we're looking for this short trade here for a potential rejection from our green box. We want to see some kind of confirmation to potentially compound. We might not see it, I, you know, I don't know. We're gonna to have to wait and see if we see. What do we want to see? Here's what we want to see. We want to see Bitcoin pumping up into the box and we want to see it getting lower highs as this gets higher over time. And as we see this getting higher over time, whoa, treadmill just stopped on me. I almost tripped, right? Let's see if we see that. If we do, we say there's a pretty good chance we come down a little bit more. If we don't, well, then bring on the pump, baby. Bring on the pump. All right, I will gladly let this baby get stopped out at the entry. Already booked a good profit on it. All right, let's, let's kind of watch and see what happens here. All right, so we've got longs coming in now. 1.4 million longs, 1.5 million longs opening up right here, guys. We got a little spike. We got a little spike here. Open interest increasing, 1.3 million longs coming in. So that's what we want to see. We, we want to see longs coming in and being absorbed in this box. All right, that's what we want to see. That's what we want to see for, for a bearish uh, kind of reaction here. All right, let's see, what fib level are we? All right, we're at the 0.5 fib right now, guys. So we're getting a little move from the 0.5 fib. Keep our eyes on this box here.
What website do you check the longs coming in? Well, this is uh, this is Coinalize.net, and also uh, I'm using Exo Charts. Exo and Coinalize. Exo costs money, gives you more data. Coinalize is good enough for me and gives you less data. I, I like to use both. Coinalize is definitely cleaner because it looks like TradingView. Exo, you got a lot more to look at. Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty. Alrighty. Shout out to the Casper crew, by the way. Alright, guys. Well, you know, I know I just took a pee like half an hour ago, but I gotta pee again. Because I was out working all day, I drank like a gallon of water before this stream. So, bear with me one second, guys. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Hey, SMP is getting a pump right now. Check this out. Just like Bitcoin, SMP also getting a pump. Guys, I'll be right back. Make sure to like the video. And we're back, baby, in action, ready to go. The SMP 500 gallon pump is pumping like a wild woman in distress, running through the wilderness with a laundry basket on her head. Guys, I am trading on Zumex, Mexi, and Bing X, all right? Bitcoin and altcoins on Mexi, the best deal on fees out there, man. Like, you could scalp this thing, market in, market out, and still make money. I'm trading stocks and Forex pairs on Bing X, all right? Bing X. You can trade the S&P 500 using Tether as your margin. So if you're a crypto guy like me, you can trade on Bing X. All right, I got links in the in the description of this video, I think. Yeah, I got links to all this, guys, in the description. Bing X. And if you sign up using my Bing X affiliate link, there's a whole bunch of cool stuff coming down the pike for anyone signed up under me. Mexi up to a $9,000 deposit bonus plus the best deal on fees in the world for now and then i'm trading on zoomx as well zoomx does not require vpn or kyc but zoomx will eat you alive on fees guys i'll be honest with you I, I i trade on it because i enjoy the levels i like zoomx the way the price moves but uh what platform am i using for smp that is bing x all right bing x link in the description link in the description Do I use a VPN? Of course. Always use a VPN. Always use a VPN. All right. Volume is still getting lower. Yeah, we've got longs coming in. This is quite interesting. Let's see if uh, if we develop any bearish CBD divergences here, guys. You know, 
We we might actually. Well, let's see what happens here. No, the prophecy box has not been reached yet, my friend. It's not been reached yet. It's not been reached yet. How many years did I prepare before coming a YouTuber? Zero. Zero years. Just one day I made a channel and boom. Here I am. You couldn't find the S&P 500 on Bing X. Yeah, so you need a VPN turned on to see SPX on Bing X. All right, if you don't, and it's under standard futures. What exchange lets you short long with unrealized gains? I don't know. I don't know, Marky Mark. I don't know. All right, so are we starting to see anything here? Not really yet, guys. Not really yet. A lot of longs opened up here. What we want to see is we want more longs opening up into the box. We want to see a bear CBD divergence. Let's wait and see how this plays out, guys. What leverage do I use? Let me see. 55x for this trade. I, I use various leverages, guys. I use various leverages. Leverage doesn't matter. Leverage literally does not matter. It's it's the position size that matters and your stop loss. That's all that counts, guys. Oh, well, there's so many different ways to use leverage, too. You could, like, 70x leverage and put 1% of your account on. Use your liquidation as stop. I mean, there's so many things to do, right? But here's the thing. If you're asking what leverage do you use, I have a high... There's a high probability you don't actually know how to use leverage. If, you, if you're asking what leverage does somebody use, that means you don't know how to use leverage. No offense. I don't mean that to offend you. But leverage literally doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what leverage you use. Right? It doesn't make it more risky. It only makes it more risky if you don't know how to use it. That's the, that's the problem. Right? People think leverage is... People think, oh, I have $100 and I'm going to use leverage. So now I have a 100 or now I have $10,000 at 100x leverage, right? That's not the way to use leverage. If you're using leverage that way, you're just gambling. That's fine if you want to do that. But that's not how to use leverage. Leverage is not more risky if you have a proper trade setup with a clearly defined entry, take profit, and stop loss. All right? This is very important. In the Casper Crew VIP Discord. Guys, if you want to join the Casper Crew, where we gave the long setup on the S&P 500, literally weeks in advance, we gave the, the long setup on Bitcoin from the exact bottom. All right. Look at that. Look at that. Bam. All right. If you want to join the Casper Crew VIP Discord, go to jasoncaspertrading.com. Click the link. There's a whole course in there, an intro course to trading that tells you all about leverage and position size and how to do it the right way. All right. Also, guys, check out White Phoenix's course. If you want a comprehensive trading course, White Phoenix's smart money approach to trading at jasoncaspertrading.com. White Phoenix, one of the instructors in the Casper crew, put this together. An amazing resource. If you're, if you're a member of the Casper crew, he will give you a $200 coupon on this. All right. Also, if you sign up, Mexi with my affiliate link, you can get up to $9,000 deposit bonus plus this great deal on fees. But anyway, that's besides the point. Now that I'm done shilling myself, because I do shill myself on YouTube because YouTube is a business. <laughs> that's what it is. All right, so let's see. Let's say, right, that you have two potential trades. Okay, that you're looking to take. These trades both have the same stop loss, right? 0.83%. 0.83% stop loss. How do you know that? Let's let's say they need 1% stop loss to make it easier, all right? 
a 1% stop loss. Okay. Let's say you have $1,000 in your account, right? You have $1,000 in your account. These are your trade setups, 1% stop loss, and you're shooting for a 14% gain. If you're abiding by good risk management, you should only be risking 1% of your stack per trade, right? So that means if you have $1,000, you should only be risking $10 per trade. If you're risking more than that, in my opinion, that's bad risk management in general, in general, right? Now, let's say, you have $1,000, and if price goes against you 1%, you need to get out of the trade because you will lose 1% of your account. It doesn't matter if you're using 100x leverage for this trade right here. Let, let's not say, let's say 70x, all right? This trade, you're using 70x. This trade, you're using 1x leverage, all right? Both of these trades, the position size is based on your stop loss. All right, if price goes against you to your stop loss, you lose 1% of your account. If you put $1,000 on a trade using 70X leverage, or if you put $1,000 on a trade using 1X leverage, that stop loss getting hit will lose you literally the same amount of money, which is $10. Like leverage does not matter. The the only times you, there's there's, in my opinion, four reasons to use leverage. Reason number one, because you don't want to keep your money on the exchange. That's a good reason. Reason number two, because you have a really tight scalp that has a 0.3% stop loss, which means you could literally put $3,000 on the trade and still only lose 1% if your stop loss gets hit. So your stop loss allows you to put more money than you have on the trade and still risk 1%. Another reason to use leverage is psychological. All right, for me, if I'm using 50x leverage, right? And I know that means price could go against me 2%, right? If I'm using, let's say I long here with 50x, all right? I'm not gonna get liquidated unless price comes against me 2%. That's a pretty big move, right? But let's say that my planned stop loss is right here, all right? My planned stop loss is a 1% move, but let's say I know myself, right? I know myself that if I long here and then it comes to my stop loss, I'm going to play that game of let me move the stop loss lower and lower and lower, right? Well, if I'm using 50x leverage with proper risk management, even if I get liquidated, I'm taking a loss bigger than I planned for, but it's probably not going to be more than 2% of my whole stack. So there's a psychological reason to use leverage to get you out of a bad trade so you don't play the stupid move the stop loss down game and lose 20% of your account on 1x leverage. Another reason to use leverage, let's say that uh, you want to long a specific level here. Bam, right? You're going to long this level and you know you're risking 1% of your stack. So let's say you have $1,000 and you 70x leverage that, right? So now you have... 70k on the trade well you come over to your slider here and you put it on one percent right on 70x leverage and you enter into a trade with one percent of your account with the 70x leverage and if you get liquidated well you just lost one percent right th th those are the only reasons to be using leverage in my opinion but it doesn't really matter it's not going to change anything it's not like you make more money if you use higher leverage you know what i'm saying Hope you guys know what I'm saying. All right, is Chainlink breaking out? Oh, dang, we're dumping again, huh? Dang, we, we didn't even hit the box. We didn't even hit the box. We didn't hit the box. All right. Shout out to J Boy Bullish. Shout out to Aaron G. Shout out to BG. Shout out to French Toaster. Oh man, are we are we getting that rejection without? Ah. Oh. 
Dang it, guys. Would you look at that? I must have drawn my box wrong. Bybit hit the box. Bybit hit the box. Bybit did hit the box. And Bybit got a bearish CVD divergence in the box. Look at that. Eh. It's honestly not the best divergence in the world. I would like to come up a little bit higher. Bybit hit the box. Let's check out Bybit again. Hang on. Yeah, Bybit hit the box. So guys, this is why Bybit is the best. All right. Look at this. Oh no, Bybit didn't hit the box. It was close. It was close, but no cigar. Close, but no cigar. All right, we almost hit the box, but we didn't quite. Dang, all right. It's all good. Shout out to everybody in the stream. Shout out to everybody who liked the video. All right, guys, it's been a good one. I'm gonna head out. Look, guys, I don't take myself seriously, but I do take my relationship with God very seriously. I know not everybody's religious, but I do pray everybody watching is super blessed, you and your family in many ways. May the Lord bless you, may he protect you, may he shine light upon you, may he have grace upon you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace in Jesus' name, in Yeshua's name. All right, y'all, see you in the next one. Peace.